Okay, I just wanted to document the process that I used to make a flat spiral in ZBrush. Okay, so I will need the tool uh, menu here. Here, I'll just drag this out and dock it. Okay, so here's our tools. And switch brushes to the Polymesh 3D. So I can click and drag that out. Go to the edit mode and under initialize. We'll just start with a one, one, and max out the Z here. And I just want some cubes. Okay. I have to center that. Uh, there's our nice line of cubes. Okay. And I'll just decrease the draw size to one. And now we can go to the move tool. Here's the gizmo. And if we go to the gears, we just switch to a bend arc modifier. Okay, and we go to the left side view. There's this little green cone. We drag that down. We can set the X to 180. And then we have an X ring. There's two of these orange cones on the end. Just want the, the this one. And drag that out. And you can pick where your Spiral starts. Okay, so right about there. Okay, let's, let's just say that's good. Okay, and also if you look at the different views, the side view, you have the spiral. If you look at it from the top, you can see it's flat. If you look at it from the front, it's also flat. But in this case, I want to actually have the spiral facing the front, so we can go to the gears here and switch back to the Gizmo 3D and click to rotate with the green line here. And with shift, we can do five degree increments and set it back to 90. Q to go back to draw mode, and there we go. There's the flat spiral. And so now it's ready to do different things. So if we zoom in, And if I bring up the Z modeler tool, go down here to a face, just right click, and let's say insert a nano mesh, flat islands default, it's great, and just drag out a cube. Okay, if we align it, that looks good. Okay, and then just expand the nano mesh, and we can increase the width here to try those out. And there we go. We have a nice flat spiral and you can spawn mesh instances all along those faces on one of the sides. Perfect. Okay, great. Thanks for watching.